What up y'all, just finished editing. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I bought Call of Duty. I ain't by the war zone where they changed everything up at, but I bought the multiplayer. So I'm gonna play that the dead go the beta go live at 12 o'clock. And I'm gonna get all this up right now. I'm taking this. I had this last night. Who is that? Hello. They can see you? Yeah. Barely. Okay, the light on. I am a caveman. Davey and I got woke up by the people next door because they moving in. <laughs> hey, you had to put your shirt like Tarzan. <laughs> what you about to eat? This is a shirt I got from Walmart. Huh? Right. He about to eat some cereal. Let me go get these hangers up. I started back putting the shoes right here in the socks. That's going over there. I like these shoes. A lot of people don't like these, but I like them. I ain't putting them in the box right now. But at least they ain't not on the floor. You get hit from it, you get hit running. I made it to the store. This was, I went, nah, this was my first. I think my very first mixtape ever listening to was Lil Wayne the Suffix. After that, then it was a Jeezy mixtape. I can't remember which one of it. If I see the cover, I know which one it is. These bring back memories. I don't know. I Ever since I got that pizza or that DiGiorno, I went back and um, listened to Walk It Off. That's a song by Lil Wayne and he talk about that pizza that's what bringing back memories but i'm about to go in here i brought my daddy shorts because he on his way he'll be in texas at 12 o'clock in the morning and he just got back out on the road and y'all know he had covid so i told him oh my brother texted me asking me on my own but he just had covid well, he over COVID, he good now, nah, but I'm still not taking no chance. When I go, I'm going to get these clothes and I'm going to have him stay inside the truck and I'm going to put this on top of the truck and then I'm going to back out and leave and then he can leave out and go grab the clothes. I ain't messing with that. But I'm here to get a pizza because we need some more of the DiGiorno pizzas. That's what um Dwayne talk about. And then something else my mama sita wanted me to get some ice too so i'm gonna let me hurry up I was gonna get some donuts, but they don't got the smaller box. And those don't taste that good when they start sitting, so I ain't gonna get that big old box. I got four of them. They still got that deal. We thought the deal was gonna be over, but if you get two or more, it's $6.49 each one. And they normally seven something. Oh, and I got the kids one too.
I should have double bat at this. I gotta carry it like this, cause this gon' this bag gonna break. It's a nice day out. It feel good out here. <laughs> and it ain't hot. It's a little breeze going. It ain't humid. This is gonna be a good day to take the kids to the um, park downtown. A perfect day. I'm a good looking rapper, I ain't trying to stunt. Ugh. My mama see they ain't wanna come with me. Can I get yes, can I have two large cups of ice, please? I'm sorry, how many? Two. Two small cups of ice? No, two large cups of ice. Okay, will that be a fish? That's it. She been loving this ice, and that crazy, she ain't, she don't eat ice. It's like all of a sudden with this pregnancy, she been liking ice. I'm on my way home, and I thought about something one day, cause I was like, we go to the stove like a lot, like. Walmarts, grocery stores, we go to them places a lot. I wanna know, is that normal? Do y'all go to the store that much? Or, or we go to the store too much? Do y'all just get everything y'all need and then eventually go back? Or do y'all go back like they ain't there every day to different stores? They don't gotta be the same one. But do y'all shop that often like going, like just picking up little stuff here and there? Cause it ain't like we do like big, shopping every single day but a lot of times we'll just go get little small stuff that we just think about do y'all go to the store that much i always wanted that do we go to the store too much what's up y'all so i just wanted to come up here just to chit chat with y'all um i just made me a uh well i wanted my pizza from last night y'all seen that video when i went to um pizza hut but and they, well, not everybody, but the kids had burgers and fries and my honey had pizza. So everybody ate. I'm the only one just not eating dinner. Well, my honey just eating too. But anyways, I just want to talk to y'all. Excuse me. I just want to see because I want to know because I always see when people like post like this. It's a big difference when you go from um, having two kids to three kids. So for those of y'all who y'all can either have three kids or more, but that time that just that moment when y'all went from having two kids to three kids, was it like a big difference? Like if so, what adjustments did y'all have to make um, in regards to that? Or was it just the same, you know, as going from one to two, two to three, three to four, five to six? Um, or is that, you know, a big difference? I'm not like, I'm, I'm not scared. To go from two to three kids because it seemed like being a mother, your motherly instincts just kick in. Because even with Dominique, I never, I, that was the first time mom, like, but my motherly instincts just kicked in. Like, it's just something I guess we were built for. So then with Davion, um, you know, I remember the stuff I did the last time and then got better. And this time I'm going to get even better um in regards to being you know a mom i feel like i am a good mom i'm not a perfect mom i'm not the best mom but i'm the best mom in their eyes that's all that matters uh so when the third little munchkin gets here um and every child is different like davion we had to adjust um in regards to say for example his allergy so dominique don't have that davion does we don't know you know or if little baby is going to have, you know, anything that we really just have to focus on or pay more attention to. Um, but we're going to, you know, love them and cuddle. And, you know, I just wanted to see if it's a big difference. Like when we had Dom Davion, Dominique was four. So it was a four year gap. Now it's going to, it's a seven year gap. So seven year for Davion, it's going to be 11 years for Dominique. So it's gonna be a big gap. It is gonna like it is this time is different. Also because Dominique was four. 
So, yeah, he used to hold a baby brother and stuff like that. But we have bigger kids. Like, no, they're not going to be babysitters. No, we're not going to leave the baby with them. But they are ready and eager to be big brothers. So they're they're ready to lend a helping hand when they can. So I can be like, you know, oh, you know, go get his bottle. Or do you want to help make a bottle? Or you want to learn how to make a bottle? You want to learn how to, you know, change a diaper? So I think this experience is going to be, you know, a much better experience because everyone's old enough to understand what's going on and to actually, you know, they always, they, they want to be a part of it. I think this is going to make it different. But we are going to be a family of five. Tomorrow, officially tomorrow, I'm going to be 30 weeks. So it's going to be 10 week countdown from tomorrow. Today's Thursday. So, but y'all going to see the video on Friday. So it's a 10 week countdown from Friday. And we almost there, y'all. We almost there. <laughs> um, y'all have been with us through the whole journey. We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all love and support. The kind words, mean words, positive words, negative words. We appreciate them all. All of them. All of them. And we happy to bring y'all on a journey with us to meet Little Guy. To introduce y'all to Little Guy. And this time, I do plan to go natural the first two times. And my honey keeps saying, back in the day, they didn't have medicine, right? Now they have medicine. So why are you putting yourself through that? I say, I think it's just a woman thing where I know I just want to be able to do it. I don't plan on having any more kids after this. Who knows what God has in store for us. But I just want to, you know, be able to have that feeling and to be able to go through it without any medicine so i want to have a natural birth i plan to have a natural birth you know i've been looking at videos how to what to do what not to do because it is really a mental thing because i do know like the past times i drove myself crazy because of the pain but if i focus less on the pain and more of what i'm breaking into the world i should be okay like i know it's easier said than done but we're going to get, you know, work through it with my honey by my side. Um, He's going to help out as much as he can. And we're going to get through this together. But, yeah, y'all let your girl know, you know, how it is from going to two to three. Is it a big difference? Is it a big adjustment? Um, I told, I showed my honey a video today. I'm like, a lady went in birth, I mean, get, went in labor at 35 weeks. I'm like, help me. Y'all go in there. I know. I'm recording. Um, imagine we go in labor in 35 weeks. That'll be five weeks from tomorrow. Well, five weeks from Friday. And we ain't prepared. So we got to go to the store, get prepared. I just, we just, I was telling him, as long as we have the, the, the major stuff, say like car seat, stroller, bassinet, we have a few diapers, like things that we can, we you know, need to just get started. We good. We good. But I do appreciate, um, I think it's like three people that did buy something from the registry. I appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. Y'all didn't have to. Uh, we didn't, you know, y'all thought about us enough. Y'all care about us enough to, you know, want to shower our child with the gift, gifts, because some people brought like multiple things. And we do really appreciate that. So I just wanted to get on the chit chat with y'all to let y'all know. And I have been, I'm giving y'all update. I have been doing good. Um, I do have, have my rough days where I do be in pain, like last night, but I may do, but I have been doing good other, you know, other than that. And we pushing through. Baby boy's growing. We got a new, I mean, another appointment coming up soon. And we can get an update. I'm not sure they're going to do an ultrasound, but. Like the last ultrasound we had, probably like two appointments ago, probably like a month or so ago, probably like almost two months ago, and the baby was almost a pound. I know by now he's probably about two, three pounds. He feel like it because he getting heavy and heavy and big and big and I'm stretching and stretching. But yeah, the girl is doing good. Thank y'all for y'all love, support, peace. I'm about to finish my pizza before it get cold.